One of the main events of our summer 2021 trip was the Schaefer Trail in Canyonlands National Park. This is the view from the visitor center. See the red car on that road? That is the Schaefer Trail. See how the road hugs the sheer cliff? My wife offered to drive since I had driven the van this whole time. Without worrying about driving, I could enjoy the view. It was really cool. Because our van is too long, we rented a car. And because of the free upgrade, we got a Jeep 4x4. In good weather, as long as you stay on the Schaefer Trail and not the White Rim Road, a two-wheel drive could complete the trip. But long vehicles are definitely not recommended. Here we go! At first, we did not know what to expect, and we stayed quiet. Gradually, we came to the cliff. I was in the passenger seat. For SUVs, there's plenty of space. As long as you go slow and remain attentive, you should be fine. Just imagine the Grand Canyon, but without guardrails. That is Canyonlands National Park. I moved to the back seat behind the driver's seat. Because of the switchbacks, you can see the view from either side, but we thought it could be more exciting to start with the cliff side when you're at the highest point. Like taking the front seat on a roller coaster. The switchback was exciting. It was a sharp turn. Looks challenging, but again, as long as you go slow, there should be nothing to worry about. To pass safely, you want to stop in a spacious place and wait. Even if the car looks far away, you don't exactly know how the road goes. Better to wait than keep going. Just enjoy the view.
Once we got to the bottom, we headed to Gooseneck Point. To get there, there's a junction. Turn left, but be careful. If you go straight, that is White Rim Road, which is the 71.2 mile unpaved road. It requires a permit, and that makes sense. It can be really dangerous to go on the White Rim Road without preparation. There are people here on the Schaefer Trail, and you might be able to get help if necessary. But on White Rim, there's no cell signals or shortcuts. It'll be a long way back if you make a mistake. I would definitely want a 4x4 and plenty of water out there. This is Gooseneck Point. We were looking down on this spot from the visitor center up there at Dead Horse State Park. It's pretty cool looking back from the opposite vantage point. The switchbacks were great. We had so much fun. This area is flat, but the unpaved road can get a little tiring. Just take a few breaks and explore the view. Enjoy the silence. It was a little longer than we expected, but not that bad. When you plan, you may want to remember that. Also, be careful with the edge. As you can see, it might look stable and flat, but it may just be one layer of rock. Without knowing it, you might step on it, and things can break or become unbalanced, and that would be pretty bad. This rock is pretty cool. The contrast with the sky and the clouds are nice. There were deer. As we kept driving, we came to some bright blue and white ponds. They were so different from the rest of the scenery that we wondered what they were. Coming closer, we discovered they were evaporation ponds and salt fields. We found a balanced rock. Finally, we got to Highway 279. My wife was relieved because of the paved road. We found an anthropological site. It was fascinating to check out the petroglyphs.
Highway 279 is a scenic byway in Utah. It's really gorgeous. It's close to the town of Mohab, easy access, and paid. So it's a must to come and see. For dinner, we found a little Thai restaurant. We were so hungry and tired, but we forgot to take pictures. It was delicious though. Schaefer Trail was a wonderful drive. Please enjoy the adventure 